Hello, once again we're playing Pokemon Scarlet. We're going to to the fight the first gym. So we defeat about an X amount of trainers in the area. You can receive items. So I first travel to. Town. And I got the uh, Amelot coin, which basically gives you more uh, money when you win. Double the amount. Then you have to defeat five trainers. Fifth loan is. Ghost and flying. Ghost and potion. Because the uh, Pemo is carrying the Emerald coin. You can get it when you travel all the way to. Medali, and then you have to go to Medali East, and then in the West Province or Area 3, you have to defeat 5 trainers, and then you get uh, the Emerald coin. So you can, can travel to there. So we went all the way from here to here to here to here, and then basically jumped off and ended up here. And walk to here, then defeat five trainers there. So that's one of the ways to get an item to uh, improve quickly the amount of money you can earn in the game. Growlithe, that's a um, fire type Pokemon. So weak against ground types, water type. And sometimes the most affected attack can help even if your Pokemon's uh, level is lower than the opponent. Uh, Sable Eye was a dog type, and a ghost type, or only a ghost type. I'm not sure. The Emerald coin works only if it if you're the first Pokemon in your team. So the leader Pokemon has it, otherwise it doesn't work. So Pamo falls after about thousand steps in the walk around with your Pokemon when you press R the the right button. Then with the next level up, it will evolve. And it first evolves in Pombo at level 18. And the revival blessing is basically getting an 
Pokemon back to life. And if you need Pokemon to remember their moves or moves they learned in specific evolutions, just select change moves, remember moves, and then you can see everything they have learned either by, uh, by evolution, by leveling up, or with the amps you used. That's electric type. And it evolves using an electric stone. Dead ball. That was a Pichu and that was level, it was electric, that evolves towards Pikachu and Pikachu evolves with an electric stone into Raichu. Vamping gets ground type and evolves in Donphan And when you defeat at least 5 Pokemon trainers in each area, you can go to one of the Poké Centers in the towns. And you talk to this guy, Pokemon League rep, and you get an item for winning. And it differs per area what you get. So here you got the TM Aerial Ace. And in Medali East, the West Province, Area 3 will get the uh, Emerald Coin. Okay, let's see how we can challenge the trainer. It's a bug type gym and it's the first one. It's in Koton Kortondo Gym. Bug type. Most of the Pokemon in this world you cannot enter. Uh, the, the buildings. The Mona. Came to see this gym. Hmm? It can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym benches and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? 
Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby stuff about it, they tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it. Consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Super potions. Bits. Restore 50 HP. I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion too. This is the best news ever. I'm so excited I can barely stand still. I just go battle every trainer I run into. Okay. That's your rival. No. More Fiflion. It's the false form on Scatterbug and a Scatterbug into one. I forgot the name and then it evolves in Vivillion depending on the the real life uh, earth geographic place you were built in your switch. Welcome to Cortondo Gym. Let me register as Challenger. Great, now in order to face the gym leader Caddy, you first need to pass the gym test. Here at Cortondo Gym, that means taking on the olive role. Olive production is a big part of Cortondo life. We help, we've held the olive festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym taste, you need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great harvest next year. Okay. Yeah, we already saw it. It's just a south city, the place that looks like a, a football field. The two red goalposts. A giant olive shaped ball. Um, that side. Here we have to go. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gem test is all about stamina. You need to push for the half you get to get the large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get a ball over various obstacles and then push it into the goal to clear the course. Okay. Great. Put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll away. It's like, row, row, row your boat. Let's see. Okay. Start. Can we move? Let's just fight everyone because you can earn some money and also experience points. So Cricketoon is the evolution from a cricket top and it's a bug type. I don't know if it has another one as well. Small of wall, that's a tiny Pokemon down there.
Oh, there are only two terrain the ship can fight. Okay. Venonet, it's a bug type, and evolves in Venom Moth. Let's go score. And we earn some Pokemon. Small if the Pokemon really evolves into an all of three. But it makes you question to what extent they also eat Pokemons, a bit like with animals. Oh. Small olives on top of it as well. The bug type gym, so probably expect some bug types as well as grass type. With the performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare, declare you gym test officially cleared. Yes, let's go back. No, don't walk into them. Otherwise, we have to fight them. Rotondo. Big congratulations for me for successfully clearing the gym test. Now earn the right to challenge the gym leader. Yep. To the battle board. I think I already saw it if it's outside. Load. Yes, so you can already walk up to this platform. It's outside. There's a fifth neon. So that's the one if you get in Europe. If you evolve one. Thank you all very much for your skill for all of rolling. It was quite impressive. Did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katty. Oh, Katy. I am the owner here at Pestry Soberry. Oh, that's right, I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as the le gym leader at Cordono Gym. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Really like all every NPC and stuff like that has looks really different. Each one of them. That is a bug type. Grasshopper. And there, two. This is. Oh, we can. You can get 
catch that one in the beginning of the game already. Because sometimes type of advantages help. Periosa, that's a normal type and perhaps a fairy type as well. I'm not sure what they... Out of my head what they gave them. The most of the time it will not be all bug types, also bug and others who are entirely different ones. So Teddy Ursa evolves in Ursaring and Ursaring can evolve in the one from Pokemon Legend Archers. Don't tell me the terror type is in bug. Terror type is a book type. Okay. So that's how you're gonna do it. Dun -dun. Push your eyes on a shining book type. You can terrestrialize once per battle, then you have to heal up at the Pokemon Center. So bug type are weak against flying type. But if you fight Teddy or so normally it's a normal type, so you need to use fighting types. All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. And we earned more Pokemon money with the uh, Amulet coin. The string grows during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you best. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with the gym badge. I hope you enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. A picture. Cupcakes. Ah, that's the treat. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite an appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? TM pounds. A bug type. Okay. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can use a TM machine to, to make copies of the TM. You did know that, right? I wish you luck in your future Avengers. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then, until we meet again. And we won. Ah, probably Nimona. Yes. Hey! Just had to tell you, my Pokemon learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. Let's go at the gym, by the way. Yes, <laughs> I mean, it was always you were gonna bass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job. I'm training hard too, by the way. Night and day, going all the place to move. Thank goodness we've got the map up. It helps on Tom with figuring out where to go next. Especially in a huge place like Padilla. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has strange stops and detours. Speaking of strange, strange places, I wonder what's Arvin up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want a battle if you run into each other. Hmm. Uh, 
So this was the first gym. So which one is the next? So we came from that side. Star Dark Room. Hmm. Interesting. So it sent us to there. So that means from there the next gym to battle is the water gym. That means this one is one of the later ones in terms of strength at least. Okay, we can do that. So we're gonna end it here. We defeated the gym. The first one, the bug type. Coronado City. So thank you all for watching. Wish you all well. See you in the next video.